everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are doing a Valentine's Day video. So these are gift ideas for yourself or maybe someone else, like a friend or you know, obviously someone you're dating or um, like a family member. Um, I feel like Valentine's Day is one of those days where you're like, do we get gifts? Do we not? What do we do? I wanted to make a video because I had a lot of ideas on um, things to do and things that um, Jack and I have done in the past for Valentine's Day. So I thought I would share them with you and hopefully you guys get some good ideas out of this. So let's begin. Okay, I wrote them all down in my little bullet journal. Um, I love bullet journaling. It's like one of my like weird little pastimes. I guess it's not weird, but that's beside the point. So let's start off with flowers as our first category because I feel like that is like the first thing you think of for Valentine's Day. Like as far as gifts goes, it's like chocolates and roses are like kind of like the classic gift to get. So I have some thoughts um, and some al also some recommendations. So I just feel like, you know, flowers are probably the most like apparent thing to get but I saw these on Instagram the other day and I thought they were the coolest things ever and they weren't that expensive. I believe they were around $30, like definitely pricier than your average candle, but I thought these were so cool. So like I'll put in a picture here. So they have some like stone head ones, but they also have these beautiful roses that are in this really cute little kind of like ball shape. So you can light them or you can just use them as decoration, but I like that idea because, you know, flowers die. They die. Unless you get like those, um, I think they're called like infinity roses or something. They're supposed to last up to a year. I'll put those there too. I think they're pretty expensive though, um, which those would also be a great gift. But I just thought these candles were so unique and so beautiful that I was like, I feel like I have to include this. Like this is such a cool Valentine's Day gift. Like. This is something I feel like all of my friends would love and also like family members too. And it's also just unexpected. It's the thing you didn't know you needed. So I love that. Um, and you're supporting a small business, which who doesn't love that? If you do want to get fresh flowers though, here's also an idea is they can get super expensive, especially on Valentine's day. Like if you're trying to like get roses, especially they're so expensive. So. One option that I think is great is Trader Joe's, which who doesn't love going, especially if you have one near you or you can go to your local grocery store that sells them, um, that sells like flowers and stuff. So what I would do is get a few bouquets of whatever they have, they're pretty affordable. And then um, you can even just get a thrifted vase from the thrift store and put those in there. and. It looks beautiful you can even paint the vase like you can get them for yourself and just have them as like cute decor for around valentine's day like get yourself some flowers or you know for someone else but that i think is awesome and then you could also get some flowers that are less expected than roses like you could do peonies or i don't know what what else do they have why can't i think of any flower names right now daisies i don't know you get my you get my point there is that. Another option, I saw these on Pinterest the other day and I thought they were so cool, were candy bouquets. So um, you can put like, some of these have Coke in them, like Coca-Cola, not, not the other kind of Coke. Um, and they have candy bars, so you could do like Twix or whatever, you know, your, whatever their favorite candy bar is, like Milky Way, you know, I don't need the name candy bars for you. But that is like a less expected way of like getting a bouquet and also kind of puts a twist on flowers and chocolate and it's a little more creative. Um, I've also seen people do this with like mugs, like a lot of these things you can get at like Dollar Tree, like it's the little things, you know, it's the little things that count. Yeah, just taking their um, like favorite treats, putting it in one of those, like for example, my boyfriend loves um, hostess treats, so like you could do something with hostess. Or yeah, like the possibilities are kind of just endless with this. You can even put it in a basket if you don't really know how to assemble the bouquet because it's a little confusing for me too. I don't know how like you're able to carry all that, but I don't know, <laughs> I'll do some research, but I thought those were really cute. Another thing, another good gift, especially if you're getting it for a female or like a friend, like even, even like a, a male too, like I feel like 
this is one thing that everyone loves is fragrance. It doesn't matter what it is. Like for me, I love all fragrances. I love Bath and Body Works. I love Victoria's Secret. I also love Tom Ford. I love Dior. I'm like trying to look over at my perfume stand. I'm like, what do I like? Um, there are just so many options. Like if you really want to splurge, I think Tom Ford has some of the best fragrances. I love them. Like you can get amazing fragrances for less as well. But some of my favorites are Bitter Peach, Lost Cherry, um, for men, um, Oud Wood smells incredible. Oh my gosh. And a lot of these you kind of have to smell on the skin. Like out of the bottle, some of them will smell a little weird, but like on someone, especially the men's fragrances are like, they're all unisex technically, but the ones that have more like masculine, um, what's the word? notes I guess like I'm just gonna say masculine notes like they're more woodsy or you know what I mean like more musky you kind of just have to like spray them on but those are I think those are great options um, I also love replica replica has some incredible fragrances I could do a whole video on fragrances I absolutely love fragrances it's also a great option um, if you love lost cherry by Tom Ford but don't want to spend that price point but still want like a good quality perfume. Dancing Roses is one of my favorites. It's by the brand Victor and Rolf and I um, used to spray on Lost Cherry all the time when I worked at Nordstrom and the Victor and Rolf one actually lasts longer on me. So that is a great option. I still don't have one for Bitter Peach that's similar. I have Bitter Peach in my collection and I adore it, but yeah. Um, other than that, I love Bath & Body Works. Um, I love the Victoria's Secret fragrances. My favorite right now from them, I don't have it yet, but I do need to pick it up eventually, is the Tease Cream Cloud. That one just smells so nice. Like it's a light, great, like even just a little body spray like from Bath & Body Works, like Champagne Toast always smells great. One of my personal favorites is um, Into the Night. I had to check again. And I also love A Thousand Wishes. They also have one right now that um, is similar to the Boardwalk Taffy. Taffy, if you like, like just the most sugary, sweet scents. I like those sometimes. <laughs> I just do. That's like the inner child in me. Like anything that smells like cotton candy, I'm like, give it to me. I need it. Then like as far as makeup goes, like if you want to get someone a gift or you want to get some makeup for yourself, um, there are so many brands out there. I feel like one that is so romantic and if you want to get someone something that's like a nicer gift, like um, if you want to get your girlfriend a really nice gift from like a nice makeup luxury brand, one that like just always makes me think of Valentine's Day is Charlotte Tilbury and they're one of like the biggest brands of the moment. Like you could get like one of the, something from the Pillow Talk collection. Um, if she doesn't already have it already, <laughs> um, like the Pillow Talk lipstick or the eyeshadow palette. Their eyeshadow palettes, they have so many that are like just very Valentine's Day seeming to me. The next thing, oh my goodness, these aren't clean, but I absolutely am obsessed with these. Like, I think these are one, if you want to treat yourself, do it. So, um, I should have cleaned these, but, um, <laughs> I guess we're all used to seeing dirty makeup brushes at this point, right? So... These are the Trigwell Cosmetics brushes, and I was sent these in PR, but I absolutely love them. Like, I use them every single day. Every time you see me use a pink candle, it is these, the Trigwell Cosmetics brushes, and they are just incredible. I love them so much, especially this one. This one has gone viral. If you look on um, the Trigwell Cosmetics TikTok page, this brush has gone viral and it is like my favorite foundation brush ever. Like if I'm using a foundation brush, it's this one because it has this flat top. So you don't get any streaks, but it blends things out so just like seamlessly. It makes you look blurred. Like there's another foundation brush by them where it looks like you are airbrushed when you wear it or when you use it. Like they're both amazing like this one amazing for just quick every day and you still get a flawless finish this one gives you the airbrushed finish and i love it so this is like my favorite brush set right now and the pink is the perfect candy pink color i just am obsessed like i want to get another set of them because i'm obsessed and um if you do get the set of 
I can't remember how many brushes it is, but if you get the entire set, um, you get this beautiful holographic bag and it's kind of like see-through so you can see I have some brushes in there but it's so cute and um, the owner Zoe is just absolutely lovely. She's on TikTok. She's always making these like cute funny TikToks. I absolutely adore her. So um, if you want to treat yourself or someone else new makeup brushes, no one's ever going to be mad about it, you know? Like it's always nice to have new makeup brushes. So. Highly recommend those. I also have a code. It is Brooklyn, I believe it's Brooklyn 10. <laughs> so if you want to use that, you get 10% off. And okay, this is my other, this is my other gift idea. So I absolutely, this is like something, <laughs> you can see how excited I get over this and it's just kind of ridiculous, but this is a gift that like whenever I get one, I could get multiple. Like every person could get me this gift and I would not be upset is a blanket. There's something about just like a fresh, new, fluffy blanket that is just unmatched. It's just the best. Like you can throw them over couches like to kind of look nice or like on your bed, like, but a new blanket is always gonna be a great gift. And like one, if you really wanna splurge, like I feel like you can get great blankets at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. The Like if you wanna splurge and you want a really good, just soft, cozy blanket, that like you will always love forever, I would highly suggest Minky Couture. They're incredible. They usually have sales on Mondays, so it's a little less expensive. They are on the pricier side and they can be kind of hard to wash because they have such specific instructions, but they are the softest blankets you will ever have. Like you just don't know until you get them. You know what I mean? So I absolutely love the Minky Couture blankets, but really any blanket, like it's like, you're just always gonna be happy to get one. I don't know, at least I am. Um, another thing with like candles, uh, because I mentioned those earlier, um, Etsy also has some incredible candles um, on there and you can support a small business. There's also Bath and Body Works, like candles. I feel like candles and blankets, I'm never gonna be upset to receive. So Etsy has some great options if you wanna support a small business. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is, like some Valentine's Day date ideas. So this is something Jack and I do every year and I absolutely love it. It's kind of our tradition. Um, like, I guess we haven't like meant for it to be a tradition, but it's just happened this way. Like we did it the first year we were together and I just loved it, is cooking meals at home, like on Valentine's Day. Like go out, you can get yourself like some nice like ahi tuna or steak or something and just cook it at home. Like Jack made me the best, or made us, not just me. <laughs> I'm like, he made me dinner, I ate all of it, he had nothing, no, not at all. But um, we got ahi tuna steaks and uh, like seared them, did like the, the sesame seeds on it and it, oh, it was just so delicious, it was so good. And then I think we also did like a pasta, but just like look at Pinterest, make a nice meal at home. You can do the Trader Joe's like truffle pasta. I feel like whenever truffles are in something, it just makes something taste so much more expensive. You could even try making sushi at home. Um, and if it doesn't turn out well, turn it into poke bowls. Like it's just so fun to kind of cook together. It's more intimate. Like, first of all, trying to get an, a reservation on Valentine's day is ridiculous. It's always crowded and sometimes the food isn't that great because there are so many people there like they're at full capacity that you know it's, it's just not like as great as normal if you would go to that restaurant at least in my opinion so cooking at home i love it i just think it's great it's more intimate you can you know talk without like having a stranger sitting right next to you with their you know significant other so highly recommend cooking at home especially if you like to cook or even just do some takeout you know so one thing you could also do is um, like instead of doing like chocolates or um, like just like regular chocolates, chocolate covered strawberries are awesome. I feel like that's also like a pretty classic thing to do. But also I personally love macaroons or I feel like there are so many states. I guess crumble is everywhere at this point. It started in Utah. Um, but crumble like serves cookies, so you could do like some sort of dessert like that, do macaroons. I think Costco actually has like these big macaroon packs that are heart-shaped. They're so adorable. 
Um, so you could totally do that. The other thing I was thinking of is like, this is kind of cute. It's also kind of nerdy. Like if you're not a reader, you're not gonna like this idea. But going to a bookstore and maybe even picking out a book for each other. But if you know you have totally different taste in books, maybe don't do that. But like going to a bookstore, picking out a book, like, I don't know, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like nostalgic, especially if you haven't been to one in a while or even going to the library, I don't know. I think that's just a cute idea and it's something that's like a little different. But um, yeah, so those are my ideas for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know um, which ideas you liked the best. If you would like to see more videos like this, I would love to do um, one for each month, like for birthdays, because I feel like people kind of forget about birthdays um, depending on the month. So I would love to like do gift guides for like each month if you guys would like that. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.